Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to continue talking about a help desk system that I've been building. I've created a list called IT Tickets and I've created a landing page with a view showing my tickets. It's also showing links to other views and finally an Excel web part that's showing the current status. The main problem that remains now is that this Excel file doesn't actually update automatically. That's a limitation in um, the way I've set it up right now. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways of doing that. First of all, I'm actually going to change the data. So I'm going to assign some more tasks to Martin here, who only has 25% to work with. So I'll take some of the tasks here to Anna. So I'll just filter on Anna. And then I'm going to edit those and assign them to Martin instead. So it'll be gone Anna and Martin. So now I've all of a sudden assigned a bunch of tasks more from Anna to Martin. The ideal, of course, would be that this web part updated automatically. It doesn't, though. You need to go into it, and even here under the gear box there, if, even if you refresh all the data, it actually doesn't. So what you need to do is open it in Excel. And then go in and under the Analyze tab, Refresh All. And there you see, Martin got a lot more tickets. Now when I just close this and save, save, there we go. Now I can close this and go back to the site. On my summary page here, on my landing page, now you have the, the new data. That's quite a few clicks. So I'm going to show you now three ways of doing that. And uh, in two forthcoming demonstrations, I'm going to go into some detail on those. But first, I'm going to give you a quick overview. There are two built-in ways of fixing this problem. There are three ways of fixing this problem. First of all, you can use a report library. So if you add an app, you can do a report uh, library. That in turn lets you use KPIs, key performance indicators. Those will auto-update. I'm going to show you that in a forthcoming demo. Also, you can, of course, go into the SharePoint store. And here under the heading visualization, there are a bunch of these tools that should solve the problem for you. As you see, this list data visualizer sounds cool, but it's rather costly. There's this other one, the SharePoint for IT pivot list, sounds great too, and it's much cheaper. I haven't actually tried those. Uh, I might do that in forthcoming videos, but I'm going to focus on the built in features first. These are, of course, third party apps. So that's the second way. And the third way, which is a bit of a hack maybe, but uh, doesn't require you to purchase anything, is to set up Excel to auto refresh using a small Visual Basic script. So I'm gonna show you that in forthcoming videos, but I hope you understand the inherent problem that I'm intending to solve in forthcoming demos. Thank you for watching this demonstration.